some more from Zool. I know I haven't posted in quite a while there. It is holidays and I uh, waited for something special to come along and that thing did come along. I bought it from a guy called Soprano on the forums and it's this. I just want to thank Soprano for actually selling it to me, holding it on for me. But uh, it's a Hadley. It's a Hadley from Cyclone. Now as you guys know, I've, I had the Crichton there. didn't like the Crichton much. It didn't get to the flavor where the Goons and the Cosmonauts is. Even the Mad Dog had better flavor as the Crichton. But this guy is a total different ball game than the Crichton. It's a special 304 stainless steel um, single coil RDA. And I've always wanted a nice single coil RDA. One that's specifically engineered for a single coil. And this is it. So I'm so happy I actually got this guy. So yeah, um, what is included, what he actually added extra is this little guy. You a nice little ultim cap, uh, ultim cap which comes with it but yes so this is the bad boy i've already put it on top of my silver noosa all right my stabwood silver noosa which i really like thanks rob again rob fisher from durban awesome stuff so yeah nice little um black cap over here so any case 22 millimeter diameter and i think this this thing is beastly guys so yeah let's go quickly have it down and gonna have a nice look at what's inside the package as well as this little bad boy Cool beans. See you just now. Right, guys. So what you're gonna get when you buy this little guy? As soon as you open it, you're gonna get your little bag of nunis, and then you're also gonna get, obviously get your your RDA. Right. No need to go delving deeper inside. You're not gonna get anything else. So I'll just put my nice little ultim extra, which I also got with it though on the one side there. But yeah, let's just quickly have a look at what is inside this little baggy over here. Yes. All right. Um, your standard O-rings are going to be inside here. Um, you've got two little grub screws inside. Okay, there's the O-ring still inside, a little package there, extras over there. Um, but what I love about this, another thing which I love about this, is the fact that they actually add this um, bottom feeding pin. All right, if you look at that pin though, um, you can see there's a, it, it takes an Allen key to actually screw in. Now, I might just add, um, they do not include the Allen key for that. So you'll just you'd have to use a plain... Um, screwdriver flat point screwdriver to get a nice fit there in there to turn it in if you do not have that size allen key but what you see over there that little small little guy over there that is an extra cl um, clamp deck which they include over there all right so yeah that's very nice little clamp shelf as what they call it and you got your two little extra gr uh, grub screws which is flat point in any case exactly the same but they're nice and deep these little guys are nice and deep so there's not a problem with these okay very much nice nice big 3.5 millimeter diameter okay i've got it at five twists one two three four five and a one two three four five six six twists over there so we're gonna play around with this beast and see of um it's all stainless steel wire it's 228 gauge wrapped with 34 gauge all stainless steel and um i love the flavor which i get of these guys so i use them in all my rdas at the moment until i find something better though but i mean it is absolutely great here's a little beast we are going to have a look at so yeah i've got um a little cyclone Hadley written over there you've got your little serial number there the whole construction is stainless steel obviously except for this black plastic tip which you have over there but yeah f uh, stainless steel 510 as you can see there's some nice peak insulation around um the the pin as well so this one is very much easy to get out okay if you want to replace it with the bottom feeding pin but cool nice two little small holes on that side two little small holes on that side and you've got Hadley etched in okay on the sides cool man this is very much nice look at the Hadley oh yeah all right so I'm just gonna put it on my silver noosa there you go so if you just remove that ah look at that man look at that. these guys it's uh, i don't know they say yeah the guys are so spoiled remember guys the rda is about flavor so i mean you have got a six millimeter juice well which is not bad it's free it's awesome for an rda 
six millimeter it's that's very much deep so yeah i'm very happy with that so yeah you can see this coil is going to fit in nicely down the middle over there okay like that i mean there you go look at that nice and easy fit which it will have 3.5 you can even opt for a nice four millimeter diameter as well if you want to go beastly on your cotton cool but all right there you've got your little flathead screws which you've, I've already loosened a bit there but what I like is is these little front parts they actually lift up if you loosen it further okay loosen it a bit more there you go okay you'll see it lifts up over there cool so you can even fit this whole ply inside Ugh, this whole tweezer inside there so your wires will obviously go in there and and the other side as well look at that look at that man all right so there you have it so you can see beautiful peak insulation running all around over here absolutely adorable great stuff so yeah double o-rings at the bottom over there and you'll see your air holes right situated right over there two on that side and then two on the other side all right now what is fantastic about this except the fact that it's a nice single coil it's a two two twenty two millimeter diameter so you're going to keep your nice compartment you're going to keep nice and snug and closed for all that great flavor but what i also seriously like about this little guy is um is the fact that the airflow comes from the bottom and and absolutely i mean it's below your coils so all the air sucks right through your coils and through your wick and that's why this thing is known as a as a huge flavor chaser you just got to get your build right to where you are extremely happy but i mean guys look at this construction absolutely phenomenal everything about us is just great i cannot believe that it was actually sold but i was so happy that i i could get it all right so yeah let's put in a coil let's wick it and let's vape this little guy okay guys there it is nicely coiled up all right just quickly even evened out the the the, the glue look at that oh yeah look at that mm -mm -mm. sweet potato and as you can notice i mean just look at those spaces between the coils and the clamps i mean there is so much space over there so you can absolutely go for a four four millimeter diameter without any hassles all right, so this is my first build on this little guy. So I'm going to play around with the height, but this is where I'm going to keep my height at at the moment. All right, over there. So you can see nice and high. So that when your airflow actually goes in from there, then it's going to go in and ooh, apala. Ooh, very much nice. So yeah, let's play around with that. And um, I would also, next time I would lessen it, I would make it five wraps. I see this slightly bent over there. Um, on the one side so five wraps i think would work absolutely perfect on this little guy but i had no issues installing it it screws nice and tight down the insides so yeah let's wick this little sweet boy and vape it All right, back at the top. It's been freshly uh, coiled. It's been freshly wicked. It's coming in at 0 0.5 ohms. So it's because I've got the six wraps. If you just remove one of the wraps, I'm sure you're going to bring it down to 0 0.3. But it all depends on how you actually like it there. Um, vaping at 40 watts. Sweet Pajosi. Okay. So yeah, I've got some nice apple bee inside of here. There it is. This is a recipe which I've posted. Um, I tasted that, what's the best before, bubbles or whatever. Uh, it's, a, it's a lollipop e-juice, which was released by, um, I think, Sir Vape. I bought the green one, and I actually enjoyed it so much that I actually tried to, to make my own version. And I sent the recipe through to Heads and Clouds. You guys know him as Hick. And um, he actually suggested that I add some sweet and tart. So I got myself some TFA sweet and tart. And boom shakala. It's a very nice recipe. So yeah, go onto the forums, Kaiser's recipes. If you want to make this nice, it's a nice apple candy. Awesome stuff, similar to the lollipop. So that's what I've got inside of here. So let's give this guy a toot. All right.
very nice. It's very nice. I am really enjoying this. Um, this is a very good vape, this guys. So yeah. Oh my goodness, let's go for another one. Ah, this is, this is a fantastic buy. I would seriously recommend anyone. I will even go further. I won't give it a Nelson. I will give it a Batman. That's what I will give this guy. So yeah, do you like it? Yeah, yeah, bobblehead. Guys, this is seriously one fantastic RDA. As I said, specially designed. Um, limited airflow, but as you saw the clouds, it's more than enough. This thing is designed for flavor, and it produces flavor. So yeah, fantastic stuff. If you've got anything, any other questions which you want to ask about the cyclone, Hadley. But yeah, I Hadley have the Hadley, and I actually got this, and extremely happy about it. So guys, keep it real, over and out from Kaiser.